This is my uh, homemade parabolic dish microphone. The dish uh, ordered online, a friend of mine got it for me, so I'm not sure where he got it, but you can find them online. It's a standard parabolic dish. And in here, um, this is a Radio Shack microphone. There's one on each side. You can see here. And I just used a piece of, I think this half inch PVC pipe. Got a cap on here. And uh, uh, just a fitting here to receive the pipe. Here's a steel washer with a rubber washer behind it. And uh, that holds the, the, the dish in place. And here are a set of baffles that I use to uh, separate the left and right stereo field. And uh, I'm just playing around with these. They're cardboard. They're taped on here right now as I test this uh, unit out. And here's, um, in here you can see the back fitting. And uh, these fittings take a threaded rod or a threaded pipe. And in between the, the front fitting and the back fitting, there's, a, uh, there's just a male-to-male -male threaded uh, piece of uh, pipe. It's about an inch and a half long and that's used to screw the two fittings together and I have two large steel washers and a rubber washer that cushions the dish and holds it in place and I have this um, going into a piece of PVC pipe that was just the easiest thing to work with and uh, here I've got a T fitting and this block of wood here uh, screws into the PVC pipe and I've got the block of wood with a uh, a quarter inch fitting that I can so I can mount this on a tripod that's all the wood is there for and this box it's just a project box that um, it uh, it was from an old uh, piece of uh, video uh, equipment that uh, isn't useful anymore since it was uh, made for VCR tapes so I just used this box um, had it lying around um, and a pair of uh, out RCA outputs here I'll unplug this cable and uh, just our regular RCA jacks and uh, inside here is a power supply it's a real simple circuit it's just some capacitors and uh, a couple resistors and um, just a switch on the 9 volt battery that uh, serves as the power supply for the microphone this shows how I uh, typically use the unit get it hooked up to my uh, zoom recorder the pair of uh, short cables, just a, a quarter-inch stereo cable to the RCA for each uh, for the left and right, and uh, it works pretty good. It's interesting. Um, it's not magic. It's not like um, the ones you see at the football games. I can't hear someone talking on the other side of a football field, but it's pretty good for focusing sound, and it's really good for picking things out directionally. And turn that switch off, there's the power supply, and that is my parabolic mic. Alright, doing A-B comparison. This is the camera's internal built-in microphones, and about 20 feet away, what I'm filming there is um, an iPod playing a 1 kilohertz reference tone through a set of headphones, and the volume is maxed out on the iPod. I have it. Uh, I have the gain set to about 80, 85 percent manual setting on the camera, and that way we can compare apples to oranges with the uh, parabolic mic. And this is the parabolic mic. Um, you can't hear my voice quite as loud because I'm standing behind the microphone, but you can hear the reference tone. It's a little bit louder. I'm moving the tripod. I have the uh, microphone hooked up to a tripod now and I'm panning left and right and you can kind of hear the reference to move around in the stereo field. I have it pointed, visually it's pointed right at the microphone, uh, excuse me, right at the iPod headphones right, right about now and just by listening through my headphones that's uh, about as loud as it gets. 
So I'm listening, I'm listening as I'm filming through my headphones on the camera, and the difference isn't as impressive as I thought it would be. It'll be interesting to see what this sounds like on, uh, when I play this back on the computer.